How many of you love getting emails from your students that say, I can't find this thing, or I didn't know that assignment was due, I couldn't, it wasn't on my radar, right? So some of these responses, of course, may be related to students not being very organized. But one thing you can help them is that for your Canvas course to be very organized. Now, as I think about organization in my Canvas course, I really think about there's two different axes that I'm organizing on. One of those axes is by topic. Okay, and, and I think in topics. I think this is chapter one, this is chapter two, this is chapter three, these are the things I need to cover in that space. But students tend to think more about time. What do I need to do today? What do I need to do this week? Okay, so I've actually shifted my course from a primary topic organization to a primary time organization, and I've gotten great feedback from my students in doing that transition. So in organizing things by time, think about some kind of a daily to-do list for the student. And I'll show you an example in my site here shortly that I've organized things into modules, but you can also organize them into pages. And then I'll also show you how I organize things by topic as well. All right, so let's take a quick tour here of my Canvas course. Uh, one thing that I like to do when I'm looking at my Canvas course, at least when I'm trying to think of what does the student see, make sure you go into student view so you can see exactly what the student is seeing on their end. Now, hopefully you also know that if you want to, you can go ahead and use this sandwich button here and get rid of or add in the sidebar. And under the settings, you can limit and reorder if you want to the items showing up on the sidebar. I encourage you only to have the ones that you're really using for your class. Get rid of the others. It's nice to have a landing page where it has some some nice things to look at, right? So this is our your home page. I think this is you know this is the curb appeal of my digital class. Having some consistent links for um, getting into my Zoom sessions. Uh, there's some other links here that I use as part of my class flow as well. As we scroll down this page, you can see that I've got individual buttons here to enter into help sessions and basically any of the synchronous items or synchronous activities that I'm using as part of my online class this semester, those will show up. Uh, basically by clicking on these buttons. Um, behind the scenes, actually all of these buttons go to the exact same Zoom link, the same one up here. Um, having multiple pathways to get to the same place is okay because students will often take different paths or want to, you know, their brains will be working in different ways. And so um, definitely fine to do that. As you scroll down the page here, I'm also using here a uh, module table of contents and I have a separate video which I'll put the link down in the description to setting up this module table of contents and that's assuming that you're using the canvas design tools as part of your use of canvas and so flipping over here say to week one we can see how I've organized things by time And so week one, we started on a Wednesday. We, uh, it was just Wednesday and Friday of that week. And so I put in essentially headings here for the days of the week. I can add in here, this is the recording to the Zoom session. This is the activity we worked on that day, a solution. I'll often time release solutions so that students can't see the solution during class, but immediately after class, they're gonna be available and I don't have to remember um, to go back in and release them. So I basically I time release the files. Um, in addition, I can um, list other assignments. This is a quiz, which is the syllabus review doing the first Friday of class. So that's kind of how I organize things by time. I, now I realize that Canvas has its own time-related tools, to-do lists and calendars, but again, duplication is okay, depending on how a student wants to access the information. Topically, I actually have information organized into pages. I used to have the modules by, by topic, but I've found that this time organization is much more useful to the students. So if we jump into one of these topic pages, we can see that each one fundamentally has the same organization. We start with the heading, says, hey, where are we in the book? What chapter sections is this related to in our textbook? What are some key questions that the students can keep in mind as they're looking through this material? Here's the reading assignment for this section. And then we jump into the lecture videos. Now I post my lecture videos to YouTube so students can watch them either embedded here or through my YouTube playlist, whatever works best for them. And so those are embedded. There's three, two to four of them per topic. And then down at the bottom of the page, I have supplemental links. And so these supplemental links will bring you to other types of content which aren't required, but may be useful for the students to study. One thing that I've tried to do with these content pages is make them um, independent of time. 
right? These are, these are purely topical. I don't need to change anything related to these pages from semester to semester. The only things I need to do per semester, one of the items I need to do is to update the little timestamp here for each week. I just realized that students don't always know that it's week six versus seven, so putting the date here gives them a cross-reference. And then I do need to update the timing of my assignments, and you can do that in kind of your bulk import and then move things around either on the, cal on the calendar or there's some other tools to change the timing. Um, as we get into future weeks, we get more and more content, more assignments, um, but there's essentially content posted. I do a, a synchronous session on Mondays and then asynchronous on Wednesdays and Fridays. But that should give you a little bit of a preview of how I organize my course. There is no right answer to this. I've seen other courses that are very well designed and organized using timing is laid out on a certain page and then you put your pages into a module so, so, so students can access those. I think that having the shallowest structure possible for students to get down to that level of time is really important. And like I said, I, I found that putting things into my modules by time, it was the most clear and the fewest number of clicks to get into answering the question, what should I be doing today? Well, I really appreciate you watching this video. And if this was useful, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel or check out the other videos in this playlist.